Do Honestly, we have the same dad? dad? Oh. I'm your host, Brent Butler. And tonight on Pop Dust, we have G Flip. Hello. From Melbourne, Australia. That's right. Melbourne, Australia. And what brings you to New York City today? Just doing a couple little interviews and just hanging out a little bit and chilling out. And it's very loud here. Is it very loud? Yeah, it's so loud. You in go New on York the, City? Yeah, you go on the street. It's like the decibels are way up compared to Melbourne. Is Melbourne, Melbourne's just much more peaceful? It's just not as loud as this place. There's so much going on here. I'm losing my hearing. And there's because a lot of, of it, bricks. Brinks? Bricks. Bricks? Brick wall where Humpty Dumpty fell off. You know, bricks? Exposed brick is in high demand. Is there just no bricks in Melbourne? No, you guys just have way more bricks. All the buildings, there's so many bricks around. <laughs> I had not thought of it. <laughs> I you like have, where this interview is going. Have an, you have an album coming out. Yeah, I do. August 30th. That's in a few weeks, man. It's called About Us. Mm-hmm. It's not about us. But why not is my number one question. Because I just met you. I know, but sometimes <laughs> things like these, you know, they just kind of flourish. But all interviews from now on, I'll I'll say that it's about us. Do you mean it? <laughs> no, because my oh, girlfriend will be like, what the fuck? Okay, but she already got a bunch of songs. <laughs> all right? Like, okay, so let's back it up. I think the, the song about you yes. was the one that, you, you know, you really broke through with that. True. Yes. And that's that's so the track. So there, good, taken care of. Mm. That one can be about her. Okay. And the rest about you? At least a couple of them. Maybe. Um, so was that a deliberate choice you had you came out with this single called about you and then that was i think like winter 2018 now we're a little bit past a year later Mm -hmm. and you've got debut album coming out called about us yes do you feature her on the album no she won't sing with me you couldn't even just sample her she doesn't like people hearing her sing yet she's a performer She's a performer too. Yeah, so she does sing in front of like thousands of people, but But she, not with you? But no, she won't sing in front of me ever. And she won't sing with me. But maybe, hopefully by the end of this year, I'll convince her. If the album does well. If the album does well, then you hopefully just, you she'll- set a, an ultimatum. Like, you know, if it goes, if it goes platinum- That, you know, she has to perform like a duet with you. Oh, yeah. I don't think it'll go platinum. I think it will. That's a big call. Well, I mean, half the songs are about me and I've got a pretty large fan base. (laughs) Okay. What can people expect from the rest of the album? It's a whole album. It's a lot. And yeah, it's just like a full relationship album, which it never was meant to be. I didn't decide like, I'm going to write songs all about us and then our ups and downs and how it goes and shit. Uh, That was never the plan. It was... Just so happened that throughout 2017, I wrote a lot of songs about this on and off relationship and stuff like that. And then, yeah, if you listen from the album top to bottom, you can kind of see, I put them in order, the songs in order, so you can see how our relationship went until where we ended up on the last track. Um, So yeah, listen out to that. And how does she feel about being put on blast like that? She's chill. At the end of 2017, before I released my first song about you, I showed her all the songs. I hadn't seen her in a year. And then she rocked up on like my doorstep with that, half an hour notice. Ro- rocked up on your doorstep. That's got to be some Aussie slang. Yeah, rocked up is like, there you are, or all of a sudden. Like so you like rocked a, up. It's like a like, surprise walkabout. If I was at the bar around the corner... And then I'm just sipping on a frothy and then I look out the door and you're just standing there. Oh, you just rocked up. That's what it means. I like I like that. What do I, you say? You just arrived? I, uh, it just, she just, just arrived on up, my doorstep. Popped in. I mean, if... Popped in? Oh, yeah. yeah so popped I don't in. Know. How would you describe your sound? Because I read, I read on the internet, so I'm absolutely 100% sure it's true. Uh, that we have something in common in that our our dads had had uh, musical ambitions that were never realized, but they played a bunch of like primarily punk stuff. Yes. To us, I read Rancid. Yeah, Green yeah Day, Rancid, the Green Clash, Day. for sure. Uh, and another thing we have in common, you started on the drums. Were you a drummer? Yeah. Well, I started on the drums and then I moved to other things and, and like yourself do like production and everything. But 
I was very excited to hear that because first of all, I, w- I was reading it and I was like, wait a minute, did I accidentally Google myself? Which I, Are we I related? Do, do we Honestly, have the same dad? dad? Oh, that's why the album's about us. We do that's have a- like pretty, look at our eyebrows. That's how you know. I we think we're probably, related. honestly, we're probably related. So anyway, you just rocked up upon us at Popped Us and <gasps> we want to talk about, yeah, a bit of your musical influences because when I first heard your name, I was like, oh, G Flip, we got a rapper coming in. Great. I know I'm not a rapper. I sound like I am a rapper, but I'm not a rapper at all. Yeah. My name's my name's Georgia Flippo. So growing up, everyone nicknamed me G Flip because everyone in my family gets called Flip. So they'd call the back back in the day when we had home phones. They'd call up and be like, "Oi, is Flip there?" And then my dad would be like, "Yeah, speaking." Or my sister would be like, "Yeah, speaking." So then to differentiate us, I was G Flip because my first name is Georgia with a G. Every time you say G, it sounds like J to me. I know. Do you get that G, a lot? G Flip. G flip. That was pretty good. But yeah, my accent sounds like I'm saying J. So many people. I did. I did an interview or something the other day, and I was like G flip, and they were like, "Oh, G flip," but you like to call yourself J flip, and I was like, "No, it's just like <laughs> this is my accent." You're like, here's here's the name I came up for myself, but secretly I really like to just <laughs> yeah. throw in a different letter. Yeah. Debut album about us is about to come out. In August, and then in November, you're gonna tour your home continent. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's true. So, can I come? First of all, second of all, what should people expect? Because you just did an awesome like solo acoustic performance for us. But are we gonna get a full band? Is Mm. it pyrotechnics? Well, first of all, my dad's waiting to meet his son because we're related. (gasps) So you probably should come to Australia. Yes. Second of all, um. Yeah, it's going to be full band. I play with my two best mates. Um, there's a lot of drum solos. I'm behind the kit majority of the time singing, and then I'll get up, play bass, guitar, keys. And, um, yeah, it's a whole new show um, with lights and stuff. I'm not, I really want fire now that you said pyrotechnics, but I think that could be a bit dangerous. We got to do it, though, because I said it. It's been established. We can't go back. Dry ice. Just psh. Dry ice is Lasers. basically, it's choo, basically choo, fire. Choo. Yeah, lasers, mm. lightsabers. Lightsabers. Yes. So, oh, of course he said that. Star Wars nerd over here. <laughs> you guys, she, you can get me. I'm super excited to be joining you on tour in November in Australia. Anything else that you want to tell tell, uh, tell your fans? Um, I'd just say check out my debut album that comes out on August 30th. It's called About Us, and I didn't write it about us, but maybe the second album will be about us. I don't know. Just stalk me, but not... Literally, like, just on social media. Don't rock up. Don't Don't rock rock up up to my house. 